This video will show you how to replace the batteries in your Duramag or MC Mag 3000. Before we begin, make sure you have all the parts from the battery replacement kit as shown. To perform the battery replacement, we recommend these tools. To begin, cut the tamper-proof wire and break the tamper-proof seal on the MC Mag 3000 unit. Remove the four Phillips head screws on the top plate of the cover and store them in a safe place. Now remove the top plate. Remove the two Phillips head screws on the LCD internal battery cover. Lift the hinged LCD internal battery cover and swing it out of the way. Locate the two dip switches at the base of the battery. Slide them to the off position, beginning with number two, then number one. Disconnect the old batteries from the circuit board and remove them from the unit. Set the new batteries in place, making sure the wires extend to the battery connectors. Plug the battery into the circuit board. The single battery pack goes to connector B1, and the double battery goes to connector B2. Now move dip switch 2, labeled B1, to the on position. Then move dip switch 1, labeled B2, to the on position. Make sure to move the dip switches in the correct order. An incorrect boot up will occur otherwise. Set the hinged LCD internal battery cover back in place to see the display. The unit will start to power up. You will see the start screen as it goes through the boot up mode. Ensure that the unit is powered normally and that there are no alarms. Replace the two screws that hold the LCD battery cover. Apply a light coating of silicone to the cover O-ring gasket. Make sure the gasket is flat in the groove before putting the lid on. Remove the old desiccant pack under the top of the housing. Attach a new one to the zip tie and mount it in the cover. Now you can reattach the cover with the hinge of the sun shield on the same side as the two output ports. The two tamper screws will go in the same side as the hinge. Hold down the activation button for two seconds, then release to verify the LCD is activated. After the cover is in place, thread the tamper evident seal wire through both tamper screws and back to the padlock. The wire goes through the hole in the middle of the padlock and down the groove before permanently locking in place with the clear cover. Cut off the excess wire. Attach the micrometer tamper-proof stickers to the sides of the meter. As always, if you have further questions, please feel free to contact Micrometer Technical Support.